very slightly begrudges being a parcel mouth as it serves as a constant reminder of the part of Voldemort inside him. But there's a lot more to parcel tongue than you might think. Here are some things you may or may not know about the language of snakes. It's a rare skill. Knowing parcel tongue isn't quite the same as learning Spanish. Firstly, you don't so much learn it as you just innately know it. The language is incredibly rare as Harry is told countless times. The only place it isn't rare is within the bloodline of Salazar Slytherin himself and as such is usually hereditary. It has a bad reputation, and thanks to that Slytherin connection, no one is quite a fan of Parcel Tongue. Harry's reputation is severely tarnished when his school becomes known to Hogwarts in the Chamber of Secrets, to the extent that they think Harry opened the chamber. In Order of the Phoenix, a Rita Skeeter scoop, who else tells the whole world he is a Parcel Tongue, leading Cornelius Fudge, Minister of Magic at the time, to distrust him even further post-return of Voldemort, and as Ron sums it up quite efficiently, when Harry first uses it, it just sounds creepy. You can imitate it. Harry was left perplexed when Ron and Hermione managed to break into the Chamber of Secrets during the Deathly Hallows. Why? Because you need to be able to speak parcel tongue to open it. As Ron demonstrated, however, sometimes a strong imitation of it is enough for a snake to understand. Sort of like when you're going on holiday and you yell out vague sentences in French. It's sometimes hard to speak it. At least in the case of Harry, Harry found he could only ever speak parcel tongue when he was face to face with a snake or at the very least the image of a snake. However, Harry could always understand it, which caused great confusion when there didn't seem to be any snakes around, such as poor Bethilda Bagshot in Deathly Hallows, when Nagini had used her corpse as a body. You don't just have to talk to snakes with it. During a trip through the Pensieve to learn about Voldemort's family, the Gaunts, Harry witnesses the family speaking to each other in parcel tongue. Young Morphin Gaunt, who was Voldemort's uncle, seemed particularly taken with it, and from what Harry saw, seemed to prefer it to English. Seeing as the Gaunts were so dedicated to their pure bloodline, it makes sense they would isolate others as much as possible by using their own language. Professor Dumbledore could understand it. As J.K. Rowling revealed, Albus Dumbledore had mastered Parcel Tongue too, although he could not speak it aloud. We're not sure why Dumbledore learnt the language, but perhaps the Hogwarts headmaster wanted a better understanding of Voldemort. Not all snakes are awful. Before Harry even knew what Parcel Tongue was, heck, before he even knew what magic was, he met a rather chatty boa constrictor on a visit to the zoo with the Dursleys. Rest assured, Harry was invited on the trip by accident. After a brief chinwag about Brazil, Harry's inadvertent magic released the constrictor from his glass confines. Thanks, amigo, he said as he slithered away. Much more polite than the Lax and the and the Basilisk. And this one may be a shock for some of you, but Harry can no longer speak Parcel Tongue. Harry being an accidental horcrux meant he was bound to Voldemort in so many ways, just like Voldemort was bound to serpents. Not only could Harry speak the language of the snake, but he could also see through the eyes of Nagini, another of Voldemort's horcruxes, as it turned out. Once the part of Voldemort's soul that dwelled inside Harry was destroyed, however, Harry discovered he was no longer a parcel mouth, an added bonus of Voldemort's demise. Knox.